Good afternoon, I'm Marino Sullivan, and you're trekking through trailers from hell. Today's epic is Hatari, which was an ancient video game played by Cockneys. Last time I buy a joke from Rich Little. Anyway, despite the fail-proof teaming of Howard Hawks and John Wayne, it's barely remembered today except by their fans. But here's a little fun fact. Unadjusted for inflation, it was the biggest grocer of Hawks' entire 45-year career, so somebody must have liked it. And it even spawned a hit record, Henry Mancini's charming Baby Elephant Walk, which you'll hear in the trailer. Another interesting thing. Unlike most Big Game Hunter in Africa pictures, Duke and his pals aren't there to shoot them. They have cameras and nets. They really do bring them back alive. This was considered progressive in 1962. And it wasn't an easy film to shoot. After all, Hawks could hardly tell a rhino, Okay, Murray, let's take it from the top, and this time just give me a little more ferocious. But thank God Red Buttons is around for credibility. He may not have gotten a dinner, but at least he didn't end up as dinner. Okay, everybody, into the Jeep. As you can plainly see, this ain't Griffith Park. Apart from a few interiors, this was shot entirely in what was then called Tanganyika, now Tanzania. Hawks always wanted to do a big adventure movie in Africa and got his wish here. He started without a full script. Mostly he shot all the animal footage first, with most of the actors actually risking their necks. Wayne was sure he was gonna die at some point, and then brought in the wonderful Lee Brackett to craft dialogue about, around what had been shot. Hawks always felt that plot was subordinate to character, and this is the clearest example of that. There isn't any plot, really, just a bunch of fun people doing their job and hanging out. And there's Baby Elephant Walk tweeting away. Not exactly an all-star cast, especially for a picture with a then hefty $6 million budget, but I guess they figured Wayne was all the Mark or needed. <laughs> and in case you were wondering, Duke was 55 and Elsa was 27. Look, there's a lot you of- You like slow, like this. It's kind of a spiritual cousin to Rio Bravo, with even less of a story and many of the characters going by nicknames. And one thing they never seem to learn in the movies, you never make a big stack of cans, especially when there are animals, children, or Jerry Lewis around. Atari means a lot of things, doesn't it? Great chase footage here. Take this one! Take this one, Pockets! That wild rhino capture was real, by the way. Atari is Hawk's longest film at 2 hours and 39 minutes, but somehow the time flits by without notice. It's what makes Hawk such a great director. You're having too much fun to even notice the clock. <laughs> 